Hello, I'm Heather Broadbent, holistic violinist, founder of OnlineViolin.net, creator of Violin Fitness and Violin Secrets Academy, where I train violinists all over the world how to play their favorite pieces and enhance their current skill sets. Not only do I take violinists easily to the next level on their violin journey, I enable them to be transported to another world through violin performance. This video is about chords. We will be talking about how to exec execute chords on the violin. The first chord that we're going to do is a down bow chord. We can, do down, we can do down chords and we can do up chords. The first one we'll do is a down bow chord and we're going to use all four strings. So it's called a quadruple stop. A double stop is only when you do two, two strings. A triple stop is when you do three strings. And a quadruple stop is when you do four strings. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do a quadruple stop with the best tone and the best sound. The most important secret to remember when you do a quadruple stop is that your first two strings that you play don't get more than a centimeter of bow. You don't give them a lot of bow. You give them very, very small and think very small bow on the first two because the natural tendency for everybody when they do a chord is to like to do all the all waste all the bow on those bottom two and then that's it for the top two that's a, the top two is where your melody is most of the time so you want that to ring so you want to do the bottom two very very small and leave the rest of the bow for the top two strings okay so basically you have two double stops slurred together. So you have the double stop, I'm demonstrating a G major chord here with open G and D. You have the double stop on the bottom, and then you have the double stop on the top. So you have two double stops that you're basically slurring together. The bottom two, like I said, just gets like a centimeter of bow. And then your top two get the rest of the bow. Okay? So let's talk about this bottom part of the chord. As far as the bow hold, you can see uh, my bow hold, my pinky is nice and rounded. My elbow is down. The reason why my elbow is down is because we're only going to spend a split second this angle on the violin on these two strings. The rest of the chord is on the upper two strings. So you want your elbow level to be the level of where you're ending the chord. And in this case, we're ending the chord on the top two strings. So you want that elbow to be on the E, A level here. Okay? Not up here. Just because they're starting here in the bottom two, if you have your elbow up here, then you have a weird angle. Your tone's not going to be good. You're going to be uncomfortable. You'll have tension in your elbow and in your shoulder. Not a good idea. So you want to prepare, think ahead. In this chord, I end up on A and E, so my elbow level will be on the A and the E, okay? So uh, the, we're doing open G and D for the bottom two. The top two, we're doing B and G. So that's first finger on A and a low two on the E string, okay? B and G. Open G and D on the bottom. And when you play those, you want to get the best tone possible. We don't want a scratchy tone like this. You want to have a really nice tone, and the bow is very, very heavy here at the frog. And with our elbow down, there's a lot of relaxed weight going into the violin. So you're going to have to alleviate some of that with your bow hold, so you get a nicer sound. Okay? And basically, we're going to just touch those bottom two. If we give them a lot of sound and weight, they will ring as we continue on to the top two. Okay? So the bottom two, just not even an inch, and then the top two really rings out for the rest of the bow, okay? Now, as far as the bow, you want to make sure that your bow is straight. If your bow is going, going crooked, you're going to lose this nice, gorgeous tone. The potential that you can get, the best potential that you can get out of your violin, if your bow is crooked, it's, you're not getting the best sound of, out of your violin. So you want to make sure your bow is straight when you do the chord, okay? So again, I say again, I reiterate, less than an inch on the bottom two and sing with the top two. Now, <clears throat> when you finish the chord, say this is the last chord of the piece that you're playing, or you have pauses afterwards, you have rests afterwards, and you don't have to worry about doing a quick retake or uh, getting to the violin quickly. 
What you want to do is to smile with your bow arm and pull that tone out with a very big smile. So it's basically following through with a bow stroke. If you stop like this, uh, you, the sound stops. It sounds like you just put the brakes on in the car and uh, you came to a screeching stop and you don't want that to happen. So after you finish the chord, really bring your bow out with a big smile and that'll pull the sound out and it will ring even longer. And if you want to really give it the extra finesse, I'll back up a little bit so you can see it in the video. We have, you can just let your bow just naturally come around like that. Okay, so we'll do it again. You bring out with a smile and basically the bow, after you smile, the bow falls onto the index finger, okay? And that's a really nice grand statement and it pulls out the sound. It makes the sound even better and it looks very, very good. Okay, so to review on the, on the quadruple step here, very small on the bottom two, straight bow, feel your thumb as the fulcrum in the bow hold, rounded pinky, relaxed elbow. And you play the bottom two and then you just pivot with your bow hold here, you see that? So we're on the level of the bottom two, you pivot to the top two, and then you pull for the rest of the bow, okay? So in slow motion, bottom two, pivot, top two, bring it out. And then you just smooth it all together. And then you have this gorgeous ring afterwards. Okay, so that's a quadruple stop down bow. Let's talk about an up bow. And in this case, we're going, to do, we're going to do a triple stop up bow. I'm going to do open D, open A, and F sharp on the E string. Okay, so only a triple stop. Up bow chords work exactly the same as a down bow chord. Not more than an inch, even a, just a centimeter on the bottom two strings, and then the rest of the bow for the top two strings, okay? So here's the bottom two. And how you're gonna feel this with your bow hold, I'll back up a little bit so you can see. You're gonna feel a lot of weight into your index finger here. And you can actually kind of push the stick down a little bit. And you'll get this nice pop. We're looking for a consonant sound at the beginning of the up bow chord. If it's kind of wishy-washy, like real soft, you might have that in some pieces if you're playing soft. Most of the time with an up bow chord, it's pretty dramatic and you want a nice pop, a nice consonant sound at the beginning of that bow stroke. And you're gonna get that with a slight pinching, a pushing down, a slight, you know, pinching, pushing down with your index and pushing up with your thumb. If you're familiar with up bow staccato, it's the same type of motion to get that nice pop at the very extreme tip of the bow. So you see, I'm way up here, extreme tip. I'm right next to the ivory. And we just do not even a centimeter, very, very small. Okay, to get that nice, that nice clean articulation is what we want. Okay, so you just open D and open A. Extreme tip, very small, and then the rest of the bow for the top two. And then the same thing, nice and straight bow uh, for the, the top two. So two double stops slurred together, open D, open A, and then A and F sharp. So slow motion, pop at the beginning, the rest of the bow for that A and F sharp. And then you just slur it together. Okay? Uh, in this case, we're going to connect this with our quadruple stop that you just learned, okay? <clears throat> so, we have our up bow and our quadruple stop. And it just rings. Let's talk about connecting the up bow to the down. So, our up bow, you're gonna lift off just a little bit. You reset, check out my elbow level. You see where it's at? It's low. It's not, we're not going like this. You don't have any time because we're most of the, majority of the time we're on these top two strings. So it stays out pretty low. So we'll do that again. Up bow, 
and you're gonna lift just a little bit, reset, and all that motion is is right here in the hand. Basically on the fulcrum of the thumb in your bow hold, okay? And then you go to the bottom two and you do your quadruple stop, G major chord. And pull it out, okay? Now, let's talk about ending a piece on an up bow chord. There's many times we can do an up bow chord at the end of the piece. So to demonstrate this, we'll be doing uh, a and E on the G and D, and then we'll do C sharp and A on the A and E. So your first finger is playing the fifth, it's blocking out a fifth on both G and D, so your one sits on both strings there. If you find that difficult, you can just take out the G string and just do D, A, and E if you want. And then uh, C sharp, high two on A, three on E for um, A and those two fingers touch, a C sharp and A. So we're doing an A major chord, okay? So same, we're playing at the end of the piece with an up bow, same rules apply, just very small at the tip, nice pop, consonant beginning there, and then the rest of the bow on those last two. Okay, so we have, and in this case, you saw, after you play, you circle around like this to help the sound to pull the sound out to follow through. It's just like tennis. If you play tennis, you have to follow through after you hit the ball. Just like swimming, you have to follow through with that stroke. Same thing, you have to follow through with the violin to help the tone come out after you play it to have it ring. So in this case, let's demonstrate an up bow quadruple stop going to a down bow triple stop. And our down bow triple stop will be D major, open D, and then our third finger on A, F sharp, first finger on E, okay? All right, so we'll just review, down bow, very small, not even an inch, the rest of the bow uh, for the top two. Okay, so we'll start with our quadruple stop up bow. So as you saw, after that up bow, you lift just a bit, reset, and always set before you pull. If that is a new concept to you, be sure to check out my video, Double Downs, retakes, circles, lifts. Um, it's all the same word for the same thing. You always, the secret there is you always have to set and then pull. Always with chords. Set and then pull. Very big secret. Okay, so to review, to make beautiful tone with chords, it's not about pushing. A lot of people think, oh, if I push, that's going to do it. No, it's about balance and at the amount of bow spent where? Very small on the bottom two and the rest of the bow on the top two. No pushing, relaxed weight, relaxed elbow. Think about where does the chord end? Am I ending on the A and the E string? Then that's where the elbow level should be and your wrist and your fingers are helping you pivot on that thumb and your bow hold to be where you need to be from going from the lower strings to the upper strings or vice versa. So have fun incorporating all these wonderful secrets into the playing of chords for that beautiful, lush, golden tone. Be pure in heart, fresh from the start, every time you come to the violin, and happy practicing.